For me, I am very happy to, to see this group. And I'm going to start by just going around and getting introductions. Hi, so I am Erin Fares. I was at, I transferred to Louisville just for my senior year. I am from Houston, Texas. I was an outside hitter and I am currently still playing volleyball. I've played in six different countries the last couple years. I'll be back in the States for this season, so I'm stoked about it. My name is Jennifer Hoffman. I played volleyball 2002 through 2005. I was a middle blocker. I am originally from Chicago. Came to Louisville because my sister had actually transferred from Western Illinois to Louisville and she played basketball. And I always thought that I was gonna play basketball, but it just didn't work out that way. And I, uh, I actually got to Louisville by filling out an online recruiting form and the coach came to my basketball practice and he said, can you grab the rim? And I said, sure, why not? And he offered me a scholarship. I'm Amaya Tillman. I am from Topeka, Kansas, and I'm a sophomore um, student athlete here at Louisville. My name's Aiden Bartlett. I'm from Leavenworth, Kansas, so not too far from Maya. Um, I'm a freshman at uh, the Barrow. How is it being both a woman and a minority um, just in the world, in, in your business and what you're doing. And how have those challenges um, been for you doing your, doing your athletic career, but also in your current career? Um, I would say coming out of college, like it was not easy at all. Like I was told several times that um, to experience and I, you know, um, you know, I could have other people's jobs. So as a minority, you don't want to look for that. If you don't want to hear that, that's no, that's no fun. But you just got to find your niche and you got to find your people and you got to find a way to just keep going. And and nobody's always going to tell you yes, but you, you just make sure that you know who you are and you're certain in what your abilities are and you just get after it and and just keep moving and if someone tells you no there's somebody that's going to tell you yes and that's that's always how I've, I've operated i think with everything that's going on today that um i've used my platform um much more often and to just reach out and like your voices matter and like um it's really important that you stand by your beliefs and what you think, like, it's okay to say it. You know, there's a certain way to say things, obviously, but um, also I just really encourage you guys to like be transparent and uh, with your teammates, the coaches, with anybody about how you feel. Um, you know, just, I mean, equality in, in general is what I'm always trying to go towards. So I don't think that anybody should you know, a man or um, a different race should be above a woman or um, our race, you know? So it's just, I think it's really important to get your voices heard. So I really encourage you girls to really do that in any instance you can. You guys this season decided to use your platform um, for social justice. And you guys went with social messages um, on your um, uniforms or parts of your uniform this season. Tell us how you guys came to that decision and what that meant to you guys to have your team um, really step up for this cause. Um, so we kind of at first had a team meeting about what we on our warmups and how it can be different from um, other sports because we were a, a fall sport at the time. So it's one of the first sports of the school season. and. We all kind of came together and I was like, I saw the NBA team do, you know, different messages on their warmups and I thought it was really cool. Um, and we could all have something different and everyone seemed to like that idea. So we did that on a warmup. So I have say their names and what's, what's on there? Um, mine is N Silence for Social Justice. So, and everyone has different things. I just think it's really cool that we have the opportunity and platform and that the university events, our coaches and everyone's behind us. Um, we definitely don't feel like we have to be quiet about it. I know in the past, um, I was always a confident person, but I definitely like, I'm from a small town in Kansas. 
I, in high school, I would probably not be this confident to be able to speak out about social justice on my social media. Um, but now that I'm older, more mature in college and around people that I know have my back, uh, I feel a lot more comfortable to say how I feel, uh, obviously respectfully and everything, but um, it's something I feel very passionate about and I'm not afraid to speak out as I probably would have been in high school. Yeah. Also, um, like we had a really kind of deep conversation with our coaches and like support staff on just like in general uh, where we wanted to get with this. So like I remember, I think it was PK or Amaya, they, they asked the coaches, they asked Danny specifically, like, are you supporting us because you truly respect our opinions? Or are you supporting us because you feel like you're obligated to because our coach and she made it very clear like she supported us because she thought it was it was right and she respected all of our opinions and what we were doing and she she really was genuine about it so I think that also helped us get to where we are now and like we had a, a like a t our warm-up t-shirt photo shoot last week and like they posted my picture with um, my teacher and and science for social justice and it it got some backlash there were some mean comments and um, PK actually spoke up and she replied back to the person who commented very respectfully um, and she spoke her mind and stayed up for a little while and I'm honestly kind of glad that they let it stay up for a few hours because you know people were able to see it people were able to see PK supporting me, respectfully coming back to the man who commented it. And then the coaches talked to me about it. They were like, hey, like, don't fret. Like, this is totally going to be OK. Like, it finally got deleted. But um, they're OK that PK responded. And they're like, we might get some more comments like this when other people's pictures are posted. So just knowing that they support us in literally every way possible, social media, in the, like, media and if anybody has anything to say um, before or after our games like, we know they have our back 100% which is really nice. Also going off that um, last season there were a handful of us who kneeled um, during the national anthem before games got some backlash. Um, I know our operations Sarah she got a few emails and letters from um, donors and I think just like season ticket holders were kind of upset that we were kneeling but I just thought it was really cool because um, Sarah and our coaches said that they don't care about those sorts of opinions they care about all opinions how comfortable we feel and if like we have that ability to have that option and I just thought it, I, it really touched me that they weren't gonna you know tell us not to kneel because the donors thought, like, oh, we're not going to give you this money or we're not going to be season ticket holders. So I feel like that made it stand true that they weren't just doing this because they felt like they had to. It was truly they were behind us. Yeah. And Vince came and he was like, we don't care about the money that we lost. We care about you guys, your well-being, your opinions. And that really, that one touched me too because like Vince, Vince Tyra, like a head power of our athletics is behind us 100%. Just to know that is like so amazing. So I think the university just does a great job in letting the student athletes have the platform that we have and we're, we're able to jump in those, those changes that we want to see from like our generation. I really commend you for being able to kind of take that leap because it's kind of scary not knowing what's going to be on the other side of that. Um, whether it's criticism or, or praise. So I really, really appreciate it and I commend you for kind of taking that that leap. I really do commend you guys for, for doing that. And also um, it's good to have people have your back. For me, it's important to be with a staff with um, anybody that I'm working with that actually cares about me. So um, I'm happy that it, it that was a positive. It was a plus for me, everything was fine, but it's, it makes the team come together. It makes the organization, I mean, Louisville, everything, especially all the stuff that has happened in Louisville. You know, there's, a, I'm sure there's a lot of questioning of like where people are. So I'm happy um, that they made that clear to you guys and every aspect that they could. Um, so yeah, it's really good to hear. Really, really good to hear.